What's up fam? Today we're going to cover the Eno Lounger DL and find out if it's a true king's chair. Tree Troopers, today I want to tell you all about the Eno Lounger DL. This was a chair that Sonya bought for me for Father's Day. She wanted me to have a king's chair when you're out by a campfire. Everybody has their own chair. I've been using a whole bunch of different cheap chairs over the years and decided I would go ahead and ask my baby to get me something special. And this is what she came back with. The Eno is a chair that requires a little bit of assembly every time you use it. One of the things that I didn't like about it was how much effort you have to put into this to get it set up and also to break it down. I will say though that the poles are very sturdy. I think they're probably aluminum. And I mean, once you're in it, it's a, it can support you. I'm about 250 pounds and I really do feel adequately supported when I sit in the chair. So it's not really hard. It's no brainer kind of thing as far as like where do each one of the slots, uh, how each slot is filled with the pole. Um, I really do like how Eno made that very straightforward. And it looks a bit like a pretzel. Boom. This is essentially your footprint. So the Eno has these little slots right here on each of the corners. They have this really hard kind of plastic secured double stitch. So it's not gonna rip, it definitely has that. It also has a nice padding right up here where you'd be resting your head. And the same thing down on the bottom. And we'll see it once we get it set up. It has on each one of the corners, a uh, really well secured um, slot for where the poles will meet up with the fabric. So there you go. It has this kind of cupping kind of feel to it when you're sitting in it. The, it has a place where you can place a drink. I'm not the happiest with it. But I also like that it has these padding, extra padding pieces right here where you can rest your arms and uh, sort of chill out. The challenge with using this chair though is as you can see, trying to get up. You sort of have to work your way to get out of it. And also, when you're by a campfire or at a campsite, you tend to maybe want to do some work around here. This chair makes that a bit of a challenge. So, great for lounging at maybe a picnic, maybe somewhere where you're not going to be very busy or active, truly laying back and relaxing. But if you're out at a campsite, I can't say that I'd recommend it if you know that you're going to be working, moving around, and you'd like to use your chair for more than just relaxing. So the question is, do you feel like a king? Oh, yes. If my baby was going to take care of me all day and I didn't have to move, this would be a pretty good chair to do it in. So there it is, y'all. I got him a king's chair. Now, I just got to be the queen that I am and do all this work for him. Go get me a beer, woman. Get me a beer. I guess he does need one because his cup holder is empty. My cup holder is empty. <laughs> where's, the, where's my remote? <laughs> what am I going to do with him? Do you guys have a camp chair that you love and would recommend? Currently, what I use is just one of the Ozark chairs from Walmart that you know you pull out the bag and you just pop open real easy and I'm fine I'm more of a simple woman <laughs> so let us know any recommendations that you guys have because I need to find this man a king's chair that he can do some work while he sits in where's the remote control I can't have that Where's my dinner? I can't. I Where's cannot have this. I need him to be able to bend down and or sit forward and chop up some vegetables or something. Give me a log for a footrest, woman.
this is the challenge of using this chair. You know, it always wants to go back together. Um, and I'm sure there's some probably some technique for doing it. But for me, you know, when I'm at a campsite and I'm ready to leave, I'm trying to be done. Be done. And this doesn't let me be done. It requires a lot of extra effort to get it broken down. And I mean, I've done it a lot more. Let me just keep doing. Oh, I wanted to show um, how the cord went in. And I've done this a lot quicker when we were out at a campsite. But the thing is, it's a lot. It's a lot to manage. And like I said, it's a lot to manage. And when you're on the go, you want things nice and easy as much as possible. And this chair doesn't really allow that to happen. These feet will fold into the body to drop the whole chair three to four inches. So these aluminum poles are attached via a cord and the cords are all connected. And so it provides a really good tension um, to keep them nice and snug when you go to put it together. And as you can hear, it pops in. So it's really, really good at being secure about that. Okay. Done. Put a fork in me. Might as well see all that it right? Mm -hmm. Man shouldn't have to break a sweat to put a chair together or Put it away. <laughs> it is October in Atlanta. Yeah. So technically it's still summer here. The Eno Lounger DL does come with a really good stuff set and has a little drawstring with a little clasp on it. Um, it also has these little uh, strings, of, attachment strings, so you can attach it to other things. You can see size, footprint. So it's not a small chair, but it is a sturdy. Thank you guys. If you enjoyed this video, um, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. And if you have an Eno Lounge DL, that you like, let us know. Eno Lounger is not a king's chair. Okay. I sure hope Sonya gets me that beer because I sure am thirsty. <laughs>